Hi, it's Claudia Rosario. And on today's vlog, I have a question for you. How's your prayer life going? In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, we are told that the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. And in that prayer, he wrapped everything up into one prayer. He showed them how to give thanks, how to ask for things they need, how to repent and apologize for sinning, and to ask for help so that they wouldn't sin anymore. He started the prayer by acknowledging that the Father who is in heaven has a will and his will should be done. A complete prayer, a prayer of surrender, a prayer of obedience. Same is true today. Some people pray the Our Father, but they just pray it from memory and they don't understand what they are saying. And then it becomes empty. It becomes noise. Just like the hypocrites that stand on the corner, yelling at people, telling them that they are going to hell. Then they turn around and they go home and they beat their wife or beat their husband. They cheat on their spouse. They mistreat their children. They mistreat their neighbors. Their evangelizing becomes noise. Prayer is supposed to change your mind and your heart. Prayer is not about asking for your will to be done, nor asking that someone be harmed. You know there's prayers, the ones where you ask for someone to drop dead, disappear, or suffer because they have hurt or betrayed you. Be very careful how you pray. There are so many that are coming to God without reverence, without respect, without love, without obedience, without fear. We serve a powerful God. He is the I Am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You need to understand how powerful that is. God is not a genie. When you approach your Father in heaven, approach him with reverence and with fear. So how should you pray? It's a simple formula. You should pray as if you were having a conversation with our Father in heaven. And to remember that he is the creator, the creator of the universe, that he has the power to make you or break you immediately. When you pray, remember that you were talking to God, the Almighty, the same God that drowned the Egyptians to free Moses, the same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, the same God that has no tolerance for those that will not repent. That is the God we pray to the God that I want to obey, the God that I want to please, the God that I want to be with. And when I know these things, that he is so powerful, that he can wipe out all of humanity today, but that he is also so loving that he forgives us the moment we repent, the moment we apologize, the moment we come back to him the moment we do a turnaround and leave sin and come to him. That is a God we serve, a good, faithful, and righteous God. You don't need to make long extended prayers, just a simple one. Hello, Father, here I am. Speak to me and lead me. Father, protect me, strengthen me, use me. Here I am, Father. I am yours in Jesus' name. That is a powerful prayer, and it doesn't take away from your day. In fact, it actually builds your day. 
You were showing the Almighty God how much you trust Him by surrendering all to Him. I pray that today's vlog has stirred your heart and that you take a moment to pray that powerful prayer and watch what God will do. If you like today's vlog, please like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Until the next time, peace out.